Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lowrance product expert. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about the new custom quick access keys on the HDS Live units. We're also gonna to talk to you about the LR1 remote and a couple other neat features on this equipment. Don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Lowrance YouTube channel. Okay guys, some of the things about the quick access keys is actually in the name of it. It gives you quick access to waypoints, to setting a unit into standby, to taking screenshots. Whatever you want to configure this for, we've got a lot of features that you can select in there. You can, if you're using it for waypoints, you can select different waypoint symbols and stuff for each key press. Again, quick access keys just means you can quickly do what you need to on your Lowrance HDS units. So what's really great is if you've got the seven and the nine inch unit, and this is also true for the 12 and the 16 inch unit, you have one key on here that you can program for the seven, nine, 12, and 16 that's universal across there. And that is your pages key for a long press and hold. So if I do a quick press on my pages key, obviously it takes me to the home screen. But what's really cool is if I do a long press on this key, I press and hold it, it brings me to this quick access menu. As you can see, a short press takes us to the home page, and a long press, I can program that to do virtually anything I want it to. Now for me, I like putting my screenshot on my press and hold for my pages key. So now that I've saved that, when I look at the screen, instead of having to press the power and the pages button at the same time to take a screenshot, now that I've programmed my pages key for a long press to take a screenshot, all I have to do is press and hold. And as you can see, it took a screenshot. So it's no longer pressing the pages and the power at the same time. You can still do that to take a screenshot. But the way I program this one is just to press and hold and it allows me to take a screenshot. So that works for the seven, nine, 12, and 16. Now, if you get a 12 and a 16 inch unit, you have something even more amazing. You have these quick access keys along the side. So you have four programmable keys on the unit that you can program to put different waypoint symbols, um, pretty much anything you want to do with it. <laughs> but what's really cool about it is it's not just four keys. You actually get a total of eight keys because you have the short press to program. And then like the home, the pages key, you can do a press and hold. So you can actually program one button for two different functions. So if a, if a button's not programmed, all you have to do is press that button and it automatically takes you to the quick access program screen. So as you can see, you can program in different waypoints, <coughs> screen capture, toggle between screens, uh, measuring distance. Um, you can also do things like pause your sonar, tell it to start logging sonars. Um, pausing structure scans, things like that. Another cool thing you can do with it is you can also set it up as your system standby. So instead of having to go in and press your power button and then select standby to put your unit in standby, you could set it up on a quick access key to just be a one press. So if you're at the bow of your boat and you've got a 12 or a 16 up there, you can just press it to go in the standby mode and then come to the back and take off and go to the next spot you want to fish. So that's a really a, a time saver for those guys there. I mean, obviously it doesn't take a whole lot to press your power button to go into the systems menu and then press standby, but this is just one key so that you only have to do one motion to get up and then move to the back of the boat. You can also set these up to control your power poles. If you have a sonic hub on the boat, you can set them up to turn your volume up and down. So again, like I said, there's just a multitude of things you can program them for. And if you select it for a waypoint, then you can go in and select your different icons. So you could, in theory, program all of these buttons for a different icon on your waypoints. So whatever you use your icons for, for different types of markings and let you know what type of area you're in or what type of fishing you're doing, you can actually set all of those up on the quick access keys if you want to with different icons. Something new that we have that works with the HDS Live and with the HDS Carbons is the new LR1. So this is a great little device. It's very handy. It gives you a bunch of features. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can set a waypoint, but you actually have a total of five programmable keys on this. You can program keypad number one here with a short press and a long press, just like the unit, and number two 
but then we can also program a long press on the waypoint key. So this is Bluetooth, that's how it connects to the unit. So we'll press our pages button and go to settings and we go to wireless and then we look at Bluetooth devices. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold the plus and minus keys. We're going to press and hold those down. You can see the lights flashing. It's going to become discoverable. You can see there it is. So we're going to select it and we're going to pair it. So now my LR1 is paired with this Lowrance HDS Live unit. So I can do things with it just like I can those quick access keys. So again, if I don't have a key program for it, if I press the button, you can see it takes me to the page directly here to program it. So that short press, I could set it for a waypoint. And let's say I want to use, I like to use this little skull and crossbones when I come across like submerged timber and stuff like that that I can run into. And uh, so now that I've got that programmed in there, as you can see, that was the short press. I can program a short press on the button two, and then I can program long press. And then I can also program a long press on my uh, waypoint key. So again, I use that one a lot of times for taking screenshots so that I can take a screenshot. If I'm on the bow of my boat using a unit, I don't have to bend down and take the screenshot when I've got the LR1 connected. All I have to do is press and hold my waypoint key. And as you can see, it just took a screenshot of where we're at. So now if I want to drop a waypoint, you can see it says a waypoint was created to the vessel. We'll hit pages and we look at the chart screen. As you can see, there's the waypoint I just created. As you can see, there's, if you look up ahead of us, there's a lot of submerged timber in here. Uh, we're back in an area that's flooded timber. We catch a lot of good fish back in here. Um, but I also, there's a lot that are below the surface. So I've got those marks so that I don't hit them. So now we'll go back to our screen. And again, we're gonna continue along here. Like I said, this is the Lowrance Remote One or LR1. Bluetooth device connects to the HDS carbon units and it also connects to your HDS Live. It connects to all sizes, so seven through 16, seven, nine, 12, and 16. This unit, this remote, will work on all of those units. So that's a brief look at how you can set up the quick access keys on the Lowrance HDS Live units. And it's also an overview of the LR1 remote, which is gonna work with your HDS Live and your HDS Carbons. Don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Lowrance YouTube channel. We've got new content coming out every week. You'll get a message when it comes.